Hello everybody, here I am again. Uh, well, I guess Facebook was down. And, uh, well, I would have probably not even noticed. Ever since, I don't know, what was it? MySpace, back in the day of MySpace. Before there was a Facebook or a Twitter, MySpace. I just, I don't know, I rolled my eyes at that. Thought it was ridiculous. I think the whole thing's ridiculous. The internet actually had potential until Facebook. Facebook ruined the internet in a lot of ways, but you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, this fire, well, you guessed it. It kind of reminds me of something. It's open for debate. I'm not trying to say this is it, and a lot of people would say what happened to Japan is actually the reason. Um, but Hitler basically trying to incinerate bodies and whatnot, um, and maybe fighting too many fronts at the same time. He, he kind of lost the war because he ran out of fuel. Um, And, uh, well, there, there was no, there's no, there's no record of some Jew being thrown into a gas chamber or an oven or anything like that, uh, where the Jew lived and the soldiers, the Nazi soldiers that were throwing them in, well, well, they were incinerated, or they received the gas. And, uh, you know, there was a... The, the devil definitely used Hitler. The Rothschilds used Hitler for sleight of hand. I mean, you know, so they could do this Zionist thing and, you know, go full through with the the Belfar Declaration that was written way in advance, you know, the, the Rothschilds, they gave a loan, they, they financially backed Hitler, you know, and, uh, so, uh, <clears throat> you know, incinerating bodies, that's a lot of fuel, if the numbers are anywhere near accurate of what happened at places like Auschwitz, well, there was a lot of bodies to get rid of, and that used a lot of fuel. Uh, <clears throat> keep in mind that, you know, Hitler actually used tanks against men on horseback. Still, in World War II. And that was probably more common in World War I. Not in, you know, World War II, there, there were still countries that didn't have tanks. That all they had was horses. And, uh, so, you know, it seems prehistoric compared to where we're at right now, but the picture was painted in Israel, is, the, the state of Israel is what it, what it is today. I know I'm chopping through a lot of it time, but there was, there was not one Jew with the faith that the Son of God was going to come and be there for them, even though they were aware of the Son of God, because... Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had the Son of God in the furnace with them, and, you know, all the, those Hebrew boys, Israelites probably, yeah, maybe they were Jews, um, those Hebrew boys, well, all the Jews that were being executed and, and being wiped out by Hitler, they should have had faith in the Almighty, that this the same God that loved and cared for the faith-filled, faithful Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you know, and, and so, you know, if I were to say everything that I've been delivering to everyone, what's the most important thing, um, Daniel 3. You need to have faith like that. 
like walking on the water. Yeah, that faith. Fishes in the loaves. Yeah, that faith. Um, that there'll always be enough food that you can share with everybody. And there'll be plenty for everybody and leftovers. And uh, you need all that faith that the Son of God, Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of Yah, Yahweh, Jehovah, Yehovah, Allah, our Heavenly Father, the Almighty Creator, sent His Son, and, and, the, and Nebuchadnezzar's, you know, men, they were incinerated, not the ones with faith, the ones with faith, they got into that furnace instead of bowing to the laws of King Nebuchadnezzar because they were ungodly laws. And uh, so that faith made it so that our Heavenly Father, the Almighty Creator, the Most High, sent His Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, to be in that fire. The Son of God was with those men in that fire. And that's, that's, I know that I've said a lot more than that, but you need it. You need that kind of faith. If, if you have faith that you've been good enough to get raptured, then you, you should have the faith that you, you'll walk through fire. The consequences will be on King Nebuchadnezzar and King Nebuchadnezzar's men and all these pharaohs and all these pharaohs' men. The hurt is going to be on them, not on not on us. Not with we we know we have our Savior within us, with us at all times, and no weapon formed against us shall prevail. You know we have the winning hand. All of us. I mean, this is what I'm trying to share. The winning hand is your Savior, and knowing that you need him through all this all the way through until the end when everyone's sitting around waiting for a rapture and bad stuff keeps happening you're you're gonna lose faith i mean you just because it didn't happen the way you all made it out to be this pre-tribulation rapture i mean are are we not in the tribulation already i mean come on people just wake up Get real. I'm not the villain that people are making me out to be. I'm here to look out for all. And I, I don't hate the Christian, just hate the actions of the Christians. You can do anything and be anybody and still be a Christian. It doesn't matter that you do anything correct or right or righteous at all and still be a Christian. I wouldn't, I can't be associated with that. Our Savior Himself is disgusted with the whole entire thing. I'm not saying that there aren't Christians that were saved and that will be forgiven on Judgment Day, but they didn't take everything that He said, His words, to heart. And and, that, and I did, and I'm here to share it with everyone. So it's it, it does come down to Daniel 3, not let's... Any moment now, we're going to just float on out of here. And everyone has free will. I'm telling these nations to take their flags down. I'm telling these world leaders to stand down and to stop doing to others that they wouldn't want done to them. Stop doing to others the stuff that they don't want done to them. And if you can't understand that, the consequences are yours. Will you pull it off with the people that are blind and lost and sons of the father of lies? Yeah, go ahead. You guys all wipe each other out and get rid of all that for me. That's what's going to happen. So just sit back. I've warned you. I've, tell, I've been telling you for two years. Like, I'm not stopping there for you, Will. Their free will will incinerate themselves. Let them dig pits and make plans and plot and snags and snares and jabs and 
vex and all kinds of experiments. I mean, do we know if you, you inject that fluid that they're giving away for free and forcing on since my video just a little while ago and I kind of called out Australia instantly the general or whatever says that we're coming after you and we're sticking you in Australia like an hour ago just kind of you know just one of those things where I say something and boom see how the devil instantly reacts and I'm not gonna stop that they're not gonna listen they're gonna suffer the consequences for not listening but still, they're not listening. So, the people in Australia, most of you will not have Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, Daniel 3 faith, and most of you won't see that miracle happen. But there'll be somebody in Australia that hears what I'm saying right now, starts repenting of their sins, starts listening to what I say, and when they come after you, you're going to see a miracle, like a Shadrach, Meshach, a bendigo miracle that and uh, you're gonna see miracles like that before you ever see a rapture and then people maybe start listening but like I have been saying since the beginning no one's really gonna start taking this serious until like half the world is dead and still no rapture because no one's taking me serious people are still today since my last video talking directly to me not saying anything to their subscribers so their subscribers could say Facebook was down you guys all had the opportunity and nobody did anything the leader of praise she let me know maybe I wouldn't even noticed but anyway yeah just some small chit chat Daniel 3 Men that basically have no story. They never accomplished some great thing or anything like that. All they did is have faith in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They knew that that was the real deal. The one and only almighty creator. The one, the God of Noah, the God of Enoch, the God of Adam and Eve. They knew that was the real deal. And they weren't going to bow to anything else. And they weren't going to bow to some king's unrighteous, ungodly laws. And our God saw that. And he sent his son to save them. You know? So, if you're not helping spread the word to the Christian community that has at least found the Savior. I'll worry about the Jews and the, and the Muslims and the atheists and the pagans and the, and, the, and the agnostic and the and the whatevers. But you Christians, the only ones that are really hearing me right now. The biggest thing you could do right now is to lo start looking at your book and saying, hey, look. This guy must be right. We have to go through some things before there's ever going to be. I shall not return until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. He's not going to do it. He gave you his word. And he was sure of it. Oh, I'm sitting on this rock and I got to get up. Well... That's another friend on the fire. But I'll tell you a, actually a story about this friend. It's a rescued friend that I rescued off of some old timer farmer. She was born fine. Something happened to her. Long story. And she got a hold of some mold, which listeriosis in a goat kills 98% of all goats. It's like a proven fact, like 2% of all, all goats with listeriosis actually survive if they get come in contact with eating mold. Well, the owner, boar goat breeder, like a South African breed, said she just needs to have a bullet put in her head. And I'm like, no, no. 
No. I can save her. So, like eight, nine years ago, I saved her. Now, she was always a little bit messed up in the brain. No doubt about it. Kind of cross-eyed. Definitely caused brain damage. But, she still had a normal life. I let her get pregnant once and she got to have a child to live the, her whole life with her. And she had a pretty normal life, even though she kind of was... Well, I think her whole entire life she had to deal with some kind of cross vision. I think mentally she was there. She walked in circles for mm, six months. But then she had another seven, eight, whatever years of total normal goat life, except for so some farmer tapped out on her. And I'm sure that I could have bred her and bred her and made babies and babies and babies. I, I didn't do that to her. But I did, I did breed her with the one time so she could have the one child and whatever. It ended up being a boy. And so, you know, I fixed him so he could just be his mom's best friend for life. So she, she just passed away. And, uh, I wouldn't say that this has got anything connected to do with, um, any of those other passings that I, that, that sea of, I'd say 150 160 goats this has got nothing to do with that just kind of a it was her time she was disadvantaged she should have never lived past three months four months old whatever and anybody else would have tapped on her tapped out on her way back then and never even gave her a shot but gave her the old TLC loved on her took good care of her gave her everything she needed she was pretty well retarded for like two weeks where I had to give her baby food and whatnot. And so, just a small little passing here. Kind of a, that kind of happens in farming. Anyway, sorry to waste the end of this conversation with just small chit chat, but yeah, Facebook down. Like what kind of, that was like, what happened today? Everybody, everybody was looking at the left hand. What happened in the right hand? I had nothing to do with that. Now, I might have had something to do with what happened. What the military instantly ordered in Australia. Whoa, whoa to those men in Australia with the uniforms. They're in big trouble. I know for a fact they're going to see witness some some bad things go down for them because I know for a fact our Heavenly Father has got his hand of protection over some of those people in Australia and you're going to regret this all the way down to the person who ordered it all the way up to that however I'd say down all the way down to the lowest man on this most disgusting vile man that ordered it yeah I'm not going to go up to the top I'm going down to the bottom because that's how it really is the man on the bottom the lowest man, which is the leader of that country and the leader of that military in Australia, disgust me. You have no idea the power of our Heavenly Father and how much you disgust Him for doing to others that they don't want done to them. I came with love. I warned you. You rejected my warning. It's unacceptable. There's going to be consequences. And I actually thought the consequences were going to start someplace other than the land down under. Makes me want to listen to Beds Are Burning by the Midnight Oil. One of my all-time favorite songs. Yeah, let's give Australia back to the people who deserve it. Wow. Man. <laughs> anyway... I'd say my girl is gone. That was a rager. So anyway, I loved her. Did love her. She was a sweetheart of a, basically a pet, not even part of the livestock. She was a pet. This is a pet right here. Not a working animal. Just a friend of the family kind of thing. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go try to chill, get this posted. Love you guys.